A New York Times expose that revealed that India acquired Pegasus from Israel as part of a defense deal in 2017 has once again sparked off a huge political storm, especially with the budget session of the parliament starting today. While fireworks is expected in parliament in the coming days, I'm going to speak to two senior journalists who have been closely watching the case on what the implications of the latest revelations could be. First, I will be speaking to Ullek NP, senior journalist and executive editor of the Open Magazine on what the next move of the government is going to be. My second guest is going to be editor of Hard News Magazine and secretary of the Editors Guild of India, Sanjay Kapoor. The guild has petitioned the Supreme Court appointed panel to take cognizance of the New York Times report and investigate the latest revelations. First, on to Ullek of the Open Magazine. Th- thank you Ullek for talking to me. You know the parliament yeah. has just started and at uh, this time you know again it looks like Pegasus is going to uh, dominate the proceedings what are your views on the New York Times uh, report you know even before the New York Times report came out american uh, agents in you know, american intelligence agents and uh, uh, intelligence uh, ag- agencies have you know slowly leaked out information that uh, uh, Americans had forced Israel to cancel or at least suspend the deal with India and that's not uh, reported yet so that's where uh, is both Israel and India will now be forced to answer you know the New York Times story has come out and uh, they have given a lot of details but whether um, uh, you know they have to say yes or not to the question because uh, i had uh, contacted israeli uh, defense ministry which endorses which clears which vets the deal um, uh, uh, done by nso with any country you know they do it only with official agencies so if the if nyt story is to be believed it was done with the government of india and or, or perhaps with one of the agencies law enforcing agencies so in that case if uh, you know india has denied that's the first thing india has denied uh, having had uh, any any kind of a contract to use uh, nso's pegasus spyware um in india or, or you know they they, they, they decline you know and, and israel on the part declined to comment uh, on uh, this uh, aspect and then now uh, that nyt story has come out um, uh, there be a storm in parliament for sure and uh, now the question is before both the israeli defense ministry and uh, the in, uh, and indian government to answer this question you know yeah. um yeah they have to come out uh, come out with a clearer explanation rather than dismissing in and ma- dismissing it and making some sweeping remarks which they have been doing so far and more important is this development which a lot of it's 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 so far it's it's only uh, uh, on the speculation but uh, uh, very soon it's it's going to get uh, uh uh shriller and more people are going to talk about it that's my hunch so uh, there also if uh, americans had forced the israelis to um suspend uh, the deal nso's uh, pegasus uh, deal with india and that's a huge development that uh, both the israelis and indians will find very difficult to answer Yeah. Uh now you have been closely following this case. You've been closely uh, following political developments. Now the parliament uh, is uh, in uh, session also. What are your sources uh, uh, telling you what is the government's uh, strategy going to be because last year also when this happened IT minister uh, that time you know uh, Ashwini Vaishnav he had called the allegations a sensational attempt to malign Indian democracy. So they've been very dismissive. Do you think that now that these allegations are so serious they can any longer just deny it and just get away with it I think you know the government of India will continue to uh, uh, you know they'll continue to be at where they were uh, which is to deny any kind of a, a deal with uh, uh, NSO uh, but uh, it depends um, largely on uh, what's going to come out of Israel what if NSO or what if the ministry of defense in Israel comes out with a statement that they had they did have a deal with uh, uh, India Uh, that they had cleared the, uh, uh, the sale of uh, pegasus software spyware to india so then india will have to answer the question 
uh, they will have to uh, refashion their strategy otherwise i think it's going to remain the same w- w- what do you really think is going to be the biggest challenge before the government right now for, for the government of india until israel speaks or you know nso uh, uh, confirms the deal pegasus deal with india uh, i think the government is going to stick to uh, uh the same strategy of uh, being in denial because that suits them the best uh, as of now because then there is no question you know unless um of course you know privately a lot of people will tell you that you know this is as old as empires that you know people in power have always spied upon other people uh, to keep the peace so that's what uh, privately people will tell you but uh, that is also what uh, uh, most of these people who believe in chanakya Ch- chanakya's philosophy um w- will um, uh, highlight and uh, Uh, that's one thing but you know publicly they'll keep uh, harping on uh, the fact that there was no deal at all uh, and uh, so far uh, as um, challenges are concerned i think if the government maintains that position i don't think they'll they are going to face any big trouble other than um, uh, a lot of uh, questions being raised about uh, or demand going to come uh, from opposition parties or from um, uh, media and uh, a lot of civil, civil society groups several uh, months have passed since the first uh, report and the first uh, media report came um, came about now the thing is that uh, there is a supreme court appointed panel um, the government is not doing much uh, do you really think that uh, this a particular probe panel uh, that is investigating the case uh, right now is it is it sufficient to actually bring out the truth behind uh, the pegasus scandal no, i think this panel is enough to bring out the uh, pegasus snooping scandal uh, and also uh, hold people uh, hold those people uh, accountable but then you know uh, if you have a, a far more uh, powerful panel one can uh, call for a a larger uh, panel or something like that but you know it, it, it's it's the same thing you know uh, if this panel cannot do that if a, a bigger panel also wouldn't be able to do that it's a question of uh, will power and it's a question of a sense of purpose and i think everything hinges uh, on uh the word that we are going to get from israel and uh, if they are going to confirm that there was a deal with india and uh, then it's going to get murkier and the government will be forced to act and uh, these panels will also be forced to act thank you ulik for those insights while the indian government has been denying all the allegations right from the beginning as ulik has mentioned all eyes are now going to be on what israel is going to say for now let me speak to my next guest Sanjay Kapoor, editor Hard News Magazine and the secretary of Editors Guild of India. Thank you Sanjay for talking to me. The parliament has just started and this time again it looks like Pegasus will dominate the show. What do you think? I think uh, the issue of Pegasus which involves uh, government snooping a uh, military grade hardware, uh, military grade software or malware on uh, citizen is something that should have been debated threat bear and accountability established and government should have come clear on that it hasn't in fact there is it been engaging in a lot of obfuscation and that is the reason why it has been dragging on for quite some time and uh, now you have an expose coming in from new york times who conducted a year long investigation into this and they found that uh, you know the uh, pegasus which is owned by a company called nso was in certain way you know marketed by former prime minister netanyahu who uh, engaged with all the countries which are supposed to be close to uh, israel and uh, in a certain way uh, pegasus uh, which is as i said earlier a military grade uh, surveillance uh, malware uh which is actually now a very high quality in which it can infiltrate any for a cell phone without having anybody to click is a no click uh, malware uh which was given to uh, you know there is evidence that uh, the new york times found of also being offered to india and it was part of a 2 billion dollar defense deal in which you uh, this malware also given 
so although they haven't really shared the proof of this uh, exchange but the authoritative manner in which they have written clearly shows that there is some kind of evidence that they have otherwise they would not have done that going by the reputation and credibility of this broadsheet which comes out from new york besides they also claim that as a quid pro quo that uh, india got the intelligence malware uh, india also backed israel against uh, palestine in the united nation security council yeah the thing is um the government th- this is not the first time uh, serious allegations have been leveled against the government even last year, last time also we had the same allegations but then the government has kept denying all these allegations uh, don't you think it's high time that the government actually comes forward and gives details as to you know where did the money ca- come where did the money go what are the equipments why were the, why did these numbers actually figure in uh, in those records no absolutely you know in a democratic uh, society where uh, you know we is a responsible to the media to demand accountability from the government this is a big gap which is visible time and again questions are being asked and uh, nobody is uh, saying anything from from the side of the government and worse what happened why uh, you know people uh, and uh, you know citizens were more disturbed by this was the manner in which uh, you had journalists being snooped at and you had people from the civil society whose entire content on the phone had been manipulated through the software and many other people that there are also some uh, people who are joined the government as ministers who were also surveilled by this particular pegasus and pegasus is not an ordinary snooping it has the ability to get into your inbox uh, steal everything even change the content that might be there in fact in in uh, beirut there was a journalist lady journalist who claimed that she felt absolutely bare because people in the software could uh, steal the photographs and they could push it out on social media so the implication of this software is mind boggling Uh, the editors guild also has asked the supreme court appointed panel to take cognizance of the new york times report um, and investigate what exactly is the editors guild asking the supreme court appointed panel i mean let's face it uh, when the first uh, report started coming in that was in 2019 and that uh, the report suggested that journalists had been targeted many of them and uh, then uh, there were other companies like whatsapp you had lutron apple which all complained that this israeli made software was undermining their uh, you can say a, the entire platform that they had created and the security that they were providing to their users and they challenged it in various courts of law but in india uh, this has been taken and taken up in the most lackadaisical manner and uh, when the second round of charges came up that was last year in sometime in july and journalists uh, managed to find evidence because there was a lab uh, run by the amnesty international which uh, citizens lab i think was uh, that managed to find evidence of the uh, contamination or the infection of the software in them and that is how for the first time you had evidence of how different different journalists uh, phones have been compromised and uh, there was despite demanding time and again we uh, as egi wrote uh, for came out with a statement against it how it has been how journalists have been targeted nothing really happened there after we demanded uh, we actually went to the court we filed a, a public interest litigation and demanded that there should be an inquiry there should be a supreme court uh, monitored probe the supreme court uh, agreed to in fact egi was one of the petitioners besides others uh, and they took cognizance of it and a, pa- a committee was announced a com- one, one judge uh, retired judge commission of inquiry was uh, put in place justice ravindran and egi wrote a long uh, list of things that they expected the commission inquiry to do for the people they should talk, talk to the different departments from whom they should seek help all of that was done in november we decided to keep it between the commission as well as uh, between egi all the details but after the nyt expose we have decided to reveal the letter which demands that certain things should be done and this time around we have also suggested that uh, the 
commission inquiry should also talk talk with the cag and the finance ministry because if uh, the software has been bought which uh, has been uh, repeated time and again by different entities then surely uh, there would be evidence of payoff in the budget so those kind of details uh, should be available and uh, the supreme court um, one member commission should actually look into it that is what the demand of egi has been thank you sanjay for taking the time well the next few days will be extremely crucial all eyes will be on not just india but israel too will the ministry of defense in israel come out with a statement accepting that there was indeed a deal with india only time can tell with this we come to the end of this podcast i hope you found this useful thank you for joining me on this show